Hey guys, welcome to another video of Zango 2.0 tutorial. In this video, we are going to write a hello world program. Uh, without delaying, let's get started. Now, open our apps.views.py file. And add following code to it. Here is what we did. First, we imported HTTP response from Django.http, and then we wrote a function called index that returns raw HTTP response, saying "Hello world." And you should know that every view function takes a request as its first parameter. Now we have written our view. We need to map it to an URL. Create a URL. Uh, create a file named urls.py inside your app directory. Now open this file and edit it into this. Let me explain what we did here. First, we imported path from Django.urls and then we imported views from our app. This file, uh, because we are going to map it here. Then uh, we defined a Python list named URL patterns and then we created a URL which points to index function we created earlier. URL patterns is the default list where Django searches for URLs. And you should not give it other name. For example, if I renamed it URL list or something else, then Django will not be able to recognize this. The next step is to include our apps URLs in our projects URLs. Open your projects urls.py file. And edit it into this. Here we are telling our project's URL conf to include URLs defined in our blog app. That means these URLs. You should always use include function if you want to include URLs defined outside of our project's URLs. That means outside of this URL conf. Uh, we have now mapped our index view to the URL. Let's run the development server and check if everything is working. Let's open the browser and go to our views URL we just created. To do that, type localhost 8000 slash blog slash index. You should see a page saying hello world just like this. If you see this page, congratulations, you just created first view in Django. Now let me explain how Django is generating this result. 
here we have requested an URL that is blog slash index. When we request a URL, Django searches for this URL in our project URL patterns. Here Django will match up to blog slash and then it passes the remaining part to our apps URL patterns that means this URL file. In our apps URL patterns, it matches index part which points to views.index that means this index function which returns a raw HTTP response saying hello world which is displayed in our web browser. Now let's summarize what we did. First we wrote a view function. And then uh, we created urls.py file inside our app directory and mapped our view to an URL. And then finally, we included our apps URL in our project's URL file in using include function. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll write models for our app and play with database API provided by Django. Thanks for watching.